Why is myeloma hard to treat? And what is meant by a signaling pathway? So why is it hard to treat? Well, it's a heterogeneous disease. Not all myelomas are the same. Um, they are tumor cells. They grow uncontrolled in many cases. They proliferate when you kind of wish they didn't. They go places you don't want them to go. They go to the bone marrow. And they often interfere with normal functions. So all of those are events that are deregulations of normal cells to become these tumor cells. And the fact is we know a lot more about the biology to understand that not every myeloma got there by the same path. I often talk to groups and talk about how I can get from Minneapolis to Chicago. Um, there are a lot of roads that will get me from Minneapolis to Chicago. I will get to Chicago, but I can take a lot of different routes to get there, a lot of different paths to get there. Similarly, myeloma gets to a point of proliferation and going to the bone marrow by a lot of different paths in different individuals. And it's trying to understand those different paths that will give us a better understanding, not just of the biology of myeloma, but the unique biology of every individual's myeloma. What is a signaling pathway? So we've, we've been talking about signaling pathways in multiple myeloma without using that word. Um, when we talk about mutations of NRAS and KRAS and BRAF, all of those proteins, they signal, that means they typically take a, um, a signal that starts in the surface of the cell and eventually goes to the nucleus um, through a given set of other proteins, and that, that's called a pathway. And in that case, the pathway is called the MAP kinase pathway. There's, there's another important pathway, which is called the NF kappa B pathway. Um, and that's frequently mutated uh, in multiple myeloma. And that pathway starts from BCMA, which is on the surface of, of myeloma cells, and, and we're using it as a target for therapy now. But that signals down from the surface to the nucleus through a pathway called NF kappa B. And there's a number of mutations uh, that um, basically can substitute for the presence of NF kappa B, uh, for BCMA on the surface of the cell to signal to NF kappa B down on the nucleus. It, it doesn't typically go, you know, straight, the signal doesn't go straight from the surface to the nucleus. It goes through a number of other proteins to get from the top down to the bottom. And any one of those proteins in the pathway uh, can be affected by mutations. What are PD-1 and PD-L1? PD-1 and PD-L1 are uh, markers in the surface of uh, cells um, that signal to each other. So that's, that's a different kind of, uh, it's not signaling from outside to in, it's signaling from outside of one cell to outside of another cell. Those are called checkpoint inhibitors because those signals check the activity of T cells. Um, and so if a tumor expresses PD-1, the, uh, PD, the, the, the receptor for that signal is called PD-L1, is on the surface of immune cells. It, it tells them, you know, don't bother with me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, not, a, I'm not bad. Uh, don't try and kill me. Um, and by interfering with those signals, there's been a lot of success in the treatment of uh, solid tumors uh, and lymphoma, um, but it has not been uh, very active in multiple myeloma so far. What is NYC or MYC? MYC is called the universal amplifier. It's a, one of the, the oldest known uh, oncogenes, and its function is to amplify whatever a cell is doing. And... Um, Often, in a cancer cell, that means proliferation. Um, I think in myeloma, it amplifies you know, other things as well, um, such as the ability to, to make uh, a, and secrete a lot of antibody. Um, but it's really a, it's, it's a fundamental um, gene in, um, in all of cell biology and, and all of cancer biology. Unfortunately, it's, it's not a gene that we can typically um, target uh, with a drug because it's located down in the nucleus. It's, it's not an enzyme like the kinases. Um, and so um, I think we can, however, uh, maybe turn off the signals that turn MYC on. And one of the ways we do that 
is with uh, drugs like Revlimid, uh, which uh, inhibit a gene called Icarus. And Icarus is a critical component that turns on MYC in uh, myeloma patients that have got uh, uh, abnormalities of MYC. Uh, 